Okay, now we're back into this commentary of Disney Villains vs. Zoyu's Multi-Film Villains War Round 2, starting in the prologue. So we see the Shaman King Queen at Egypt is uh, hearing about all the war, and she wants... How did they go? Uh, I've heard of the war, and she is desperate because of not having any ideas. But her crow minions suggest... Uh, she can start her uprising by taking over the city of Agrabah as her new base. Uh-huh. Uh... I still have not yet seen what the Shamakin Queen is from. Darth Ruler, if you're watching this, can you let me know? And then we see, uh... Scarus recruited both Shere Khan and Ka. Zira and the Outlanders, and Sabor. Oh, and then we see the wolf has recruited both the fox and the wolf. Yeah, there's these two are. Yeah, that's also a wolf, and the other one's just a fox, also. Just like how I explained, some of them foxes are just called the fox, while the other. Uh, now, the wolf villains are just called the wolf. Kind of weird when you think about it, huh? I mean, can't they just come up with names? Then we see Radigan has Mr. Flaversham. Oh, uh, the poor guy. He shouldn't be in this war. Well, Radigan's making them create a robot. How'd it go? You know, to put his master plan in action by having this victim create a robot for him, unaware that that their two villains are spying on him. Alice the Fox and Bossolini the Cat from The Adventures of Boratino, a.k.a. the Russian Pinocchio. Yeah. Then we see the mysterious figure, which is obviously Pete. Who else could it be? Has recruited Togarian Snake, I think that's... His name... Targaryen Snake, yeah. To help him overthrow Prince John so that he can be the new King of England. In return, he'll make him the captain of the guards. At least that's what I think it was. Yeah, it's the captain of the guards army. So I guess I'll go along with it. Then at the Voodoo Emporium, we see Dr. Festelier making a deal with the friends on the other side to help him to survive in the war. Yeah, most of that clip is just the Princess and the Frog, blah 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 blah. So we got the Shadow Minions now, and they accepted it, blah blah blah, and all that stuff. Okay, now for the fight. Hades versus Koshe the Deathless. Interesting! So while Maleficent is looking for allies, Hades is just, you know, still planning on how to take over Mount Olympus. Oh, yeah, she's going to find some allies. Until Koshi the Deathless shows up. Surprise! Hey, bro, I'm just going to take over the underworld, because, uh, why not? Yeah, just thought he's probably how he could have talked like that. Hades summons the Hydra. Okay, my first reaction is that Koshi already defeated the Hydra by causing an avalanche. My guess is that dude probably knows Greek mythology, and he's like, No, I'm not cutting off that dude's head. I know what happens. I write my Greek mythology. So, yeah. Didn't see that coming, did you, sucker? And now for my freedom trick. I kick into the river sticks. With the magic and all that. It's, I'm just being weird. Of course, just like in every war, Hades is always going to be overthrown. Man, this happens to him a lot in many wars, doesn't it? You gotta feel bad for him. Okay, so next fight, uh... Oh yeah, Koji the Deathless wins in the next fight, uh... Jafar versus the Nightgale Robber. Yeah, it's Robert. So, not wanting to get her, herself in demise, so she hires the Nightingale Robber to, uh... How'd that go? Hires the infamous thief known as the Nightingale Robber to take down the forces of Agrabah. Oh, uh, yeah. 
Huh, one man against the entire army. Must be a very skilled dude. But unfortunately for him, Jafar has the lamp. How did he manage to get the genie's lamp? That's my question. So, of course, his first wish is to be the sorcerer. Just to fight the Nightingale Robber. I'm not sure what movie the Nightingale Robber is from. Uh, what movie is he from, exactly? I know, he's probably in Zoe's multi-film production film. Man, that dude just huff and puff and blow too far away! Well, that backfired. Ouch. I guess he made him disappear. And Jafar wins. And next fight is Madame Medusa. I mean, no, nah, It's Mad Madame Min versus Madame Drott. How did I get the names mixed up? So, I don't know where Madame Drott is from. Uh, I haven't got to yet to look at a cartoon. I, most of the titles of Zoyu's multi film productions is mostly in Russian on YouTube channels. So, can anyone tell me the names? Especially Dark Rulik. So those two are playing poker to know which one's going to be entered in the Sorcerer Society. Also, the fight is made by Fattest Caddis. So yeah, they're gambling. Well, they're playing poker. Actually, I think, Zavio, I kind of wish you add the audio where she's like, Oh, back is it. It's just going to be fun to hear that. Also, yes, the theme of the battle is the Kraken from Pirates of the Caribbean. Just thought I'd let you guys know. I just don't want to get a copyright claim. So, Madame Mim lost, but now there's another challenge, a wizard's duel. Get outside! So she hires the, uh, hold on. So she summons the, the Dragon Lord. Her? I just thought it would be a weird sound when he wakes up. Sends out an army to uh, attack her. And it's Roosters? Roosters? That's kind of a way to have an army. Oh, well, unless one of them could pluck your eyes out, that'd be deadly. Seriously, no, in fact, mice, I mean, chickens can be a bit deadly. I mean, one of them can bite a, a mouse's neck. You know, snap a neck. On that, now Mim is a ferret. Or a weasel, whatever it was. Actually, it kind of looks like a fox for some reason. I mean, that footage, that is. And next fight is... Ninja dogs? Or just dogs? Oh, now she's a gator. Oh, crap! Yeep! Well, then she's gonna have dogs for dinner. Yeep, 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 yeep. might have made that sound after they're running away. Okay, that is an interesting fight, though. Not gonna lie, though. That is entertaining. And... Madam Mim wins. Huh. Right now, the next fight. Maleficent and Dr. Facilier versus... Okay, I'm not sure if I now pronounce the names right. It's Snake Gornich. Okay, so... Um, Facilier arrives at the Forbidden Mountains with Maleficent. While Hades, you know, as if she left Hades in the underworld, not knowing about Koje. So, Fasilia wants to join until Snake Cornish shows up. Who was probably summoned by Koje the Deathless to take Maleficent out. If it's what it says. Yeah, Koje's allies known as the three-headed dragon, Snake Cornish. Yeah, from his orders to assassinate Maleficent. I don't know who Snake Cornish is, uh... I mean, there's a lot of Zoya's multi-film sh stuff I have not yet seen. I don't think I've seen a few, but not a whole bunch. Well, so they're managing to take that three-headed dragon dude out. Why are they getting freaked out all of a sudden? Me. 
Why are they ro now they're going like a rocket jet. Or a jet pack. So I guess Maleficent and Fatalia wins. Next fight is Prince John versus Togarian Snake. Ah uh, yes, and now Togarian Snake is here to take down Prince John. For his mysterious employer. Uh one thing I've not yet seen, even though I have not seen a cartoon yet, I have looked up that it's actually from a company called Melvin Mel Knight the animation studio. I'm not sure if I pronounce it right, so I asked him about if it's like Pixar to Zoe's multifilm or something. And his, Darth World like replied, in fact, I rarely watch Melnitz's uh, studio's animations, but I heard from my friends that Zoe's multifilm and Melnitz's uh, studios once collaborated and shared ideas with each other. For example, both of the studios have their own versions of Snake Cornage, Koshe the Desolate, Baba Yaga, and other characters. But now they're not cooperating, so I would call the Melnitz uh, Studios as the Russian version of DreamWorks or Pixar. So Melnitz uh, Studios was formerly a Pixar, but now it's DreamWorks. Okie dokie. Just thought I'd show this interesting fact. Just in case some people might get confused on, you know, wanting to watch those multi-film stuff and not knowing what's going on, if they haven't found the certain movies that the, each characters in the war are from. Looks like Togarian Snake and his henchmen are take, giving them a good fight. Which I guess that's one of his minions, because one of them just wasn't him. And they spin me around right now! Just thought I'd make it weird. And, of course, it's now the towers, the castle's on fire. And I was right, it's Pete. And the weasels have arrested Prince John. Guess they're gonna put him in a cell. Wonder what the sheriff of Nottingham and Sir Hiss gonna react to this. Now for the epilogue, we see, uh, now Dragon Lord is now Madame Mim's, uh, new hench henchman after Madame Draught's death. I do have a question. Will, will we see Madame Draught come back? Imagine the Disney Sorcerer Society versus the Zoe's multi-film version of Sorcerer Society. Now that'd be interesting. Okay, so we see Captain Hook and Radcliffe have returned from their mission from whatever it was. I thought they found out that Pete is now the new king of England. Wonder what happened to Prince John. Hold on. So Captain Hook is going to go along with this. But Ratcliffe is kind of suspicious. Then the friends on the other side have informed both Maleficent and Fasilier that Koshe the Deathless has overthrown Hades and took over the Underworld. And so, um, hold on. They both summoned this ancient evil dragon. Which is, of course, the Dark Dragon. Cool to see that, dude. Then we see Koji the Deathless is upset about Snake Cornish's failure at defeating Maleficent. But Krishna also... Actually, he said not only did he find an ally, but also an ancient being that, that can help them to take down Maleficent once and for all. Also, I got to watch Flint's flat... That! Prince Vladimir, and it's a pretty good film. Um, I think I'm going to stop right here. I think I'm talking too long, so uh, I guess this is going to be a part one commentary, so see you guys in the next part of the video.